What's up, everybody? Back for another episode of the Let's Go There podcast. Let's I'm go BT. There podcast. Damn, nigga, why'd you do that? <laughs> why did you do I that? I am so sorry. <laughs> why did you do that? <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> You want to start? All right, let's no, start, no, bro. No, no, You do that. I'm sorry. I'm totally sorry. All right, well, I'm BT. I'm Cassandra. I'm Prof. All right, and what we got in the news today? want to kick it off with federal judge rules that um, Miss Pageant contenders can now be transgender. So that's new and federal. So that means um, <laughs> nationwide transgender women can compete in beauty pageants now. Why? Why can't we have anything to ourselves? Who's I don't know. Women? Also, a side note. Oh, shit. Um, no comment. I just saw <laughs> something in the news recently before I came here that um, I guess some girl is dominating um, men's wrestling. And she's actually... It's a man. A biolo- no, she's a biological girl. But I think the weight class is on like 120 or something. I read into it, but... She's a biological She's a biological woman. She's dominating men's wrestling. I thought that was interesting. A little tidbit, but kind of off topic. But yeah. Kind of, kind of. Kind of, kind of, but not what really. What am I supposed to do with that information? <laughs> <laughs> Just let it simmer and think about it. She's a very good woman. I was born a woman. But I don't think that goes with... The transgender, does, yeah. yeah. Why does a transgender have to be a, a beauty contestant? I'm wondering... Who is complaining about this? Yeah, like, <laughs> was anyone complaining about it? <laughs> Who was like, yo, they're not letting me compete. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally unfair. This is against human Isn't rights. Isn't, like, those pageants, like, Trump's thing? What do you mean, Trump's thing? I mean, he's probably been to a couple, but it's not. That's, like, a nation thing. That's he's, not like, Trump really thing. That's a worldwide thing, like, Miss like America. Really big in them or something. That's a woman thing. A lot of rich men are. That's where a lot of rich men, you know, they try to sleep with them. What? <laughs> Yeah. Beauty like, pad. That's Trump what she's is talking super about. Super invested yeah. in like Miss America and stuff. Yeah, yeah there's money involved. Why they just why why they make make a man one? The fuck. The only <laughs> male equivalent is like bodybuilding contests. You well, can't put a, or they have those go to like a drag show. Oh, oh yeah, they do yeah. got that shit right. They, they got, got the drag, drag shows, shows right? How come they yeah. got it? Yeah, why? right. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Why you got I'm not intentionally you? being disrespectful. I'm just like genuinely saying. No, nah, I don't think that's disrespectful because like that's what the drag shows were made for, right? That's like a yeah. whole culture around that, right? Mm-hmm. That's for y'all. Yeah, they're women. But I guess the difference is like these are act like the drag shows. They're actually men that aren't transgender, right? Though. They claim to be men. So they're just dressing like women. Right. But these are actually transgendered men. Like they made the transformation from male to female. Right. They're still men. The trans. This so is just because we say transgender women, that means man. It's no? the difference between transvestite and trans. Well, the difference is like I guess surgery. Yeah. Surgery and hormones. Surgery and hormones because they add estrogen so they can grow boobs and stuff like that. And they claim to be a man. That they claim to be a, men? That, I'm talking about a transvestite is a man. <laughs> talking about the drag? Women, talking about the drag? Dressed in women's clothes. Okay, okay, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not brushed up on my correct terminology. It's political in the, terms. It's, it's, in the, it's in the words. It's in the verbiage. <laughs> 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 Tran... Transitioning, transsexual, and so, vestite. But you, by saying transgender woman, that means then transgender. You're saying you're a man. You're saying at once, right? Upon a time, I'm, tran- I'm yeah, transitioning exactly. yeah. into another gender. Right, so right. Pretty soon, they're just gonna want to be labeled women, and we won't know. Or something. Oh, this is a <laughs> no. This is a one thing I used to always I think say. So. Like, you know, the right? difference is the difference. That's gonna be the next label, offensive label. Why do you have to say transgender? We're women now. No, I think it's already. It's there. a difference between a transgender, transsexual, and transvestite. We know. All right, so that's we're just saying, like. Transgender women to me, that's also saying I used to be a man, but I'm a woman now. So eventually, they're gonna get offended by the word transgender and just be like, We're women, we're just women. You feel me? That's not they right. don't even like Mr. Potato Head as Mr. No more. <laughs> How do you feel about that, guys? <laughs> what are we really bothered by Mr. Potato? There's a Mrs. Potato Head. I'm just thinking about there's a being in a room. Um. The competition, 
Like, is it going to change a little bit? No, right? Because what, 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 what do they do in beauty pageants anyway? They just look, go on stage and look pretty, right? And you got to walk and peace. you got to talk. You got to <laughs> walk and talk. So it'd be like Caitlyn Jenner would have to go up against Melania Trump. <laughs> so like. Like Caitlyn Jenner is now qualified to participate. Right, right. So like, I think as far as like. I think that's embarrassing. It's going to turn into a shit show. I think that's a. That used to be a man. Remember Mari episodes when it was like man or woman and the audience has to guess? It's going to be like that. <laughs> Wait, what episode? Wait, what show was this? You've never seen the Mari, Mari, the Mari episodes oh, the Mari where they Mari had ones and it was Mari. like, whatever. Mari, yeah. Ricky was, Lake. So they would say <laughs> man or woman. Springer. And the, the audience always had to guess if it was man or woman. So then the pageants are going to turn into that. You think that's a man or a woman? You think that's a man or a woman? I feel like all the Brazilian transgenders are going to win. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> that's like your comment? I feel like they've been doing that for years. That's like that's not like a common like myth or rumor like all the no you go down to Brazil like remember the women when are they like, told us Sierra to had a dick I do not know I remember when they said Sierra was like yeah a, tr- a man yeah Yo, I remember of, that both of y'all wilding on this podcast <laughs> yeah. Yo on. we all believed that though I think we all believed that she really had a dick only because I was like in like I grade didn't school. believe that shit because she was so big only because I was a kid and then I we grew up kids. and I said that's some bullshit like I don't believe that we was kids man. <laughs> We thought we thought little Romeo and little Bow Wow was beefing. According, there was never any type of <laughs> altercations <laughs> at, at, at any time. It's crazy how rumors get started, too, bro. You know, edit that out. And when you a kid, it's just like you just like yeah, I guess it's true because it's on TV. She does look like she could have a dick. <laughs> You're too scared to look and it up on your computer. That's at home. terrible. What other what other so fucking rumors? It. What other rumors that were fucking? Yeah, I remember that rumor. It was saying that Sierra had a dick, and it was like, what? What else? I don't remember what else. That was like the biggest one. Lady I Gaga had a dick. I heard about that. <laughs> she probably eats. It's because she was so mysterious at first. No one knew who she was. Like, what? Lady Gaga probably on? eats body no, parts. She just dressed like a drag queen, so people didn't know what the fuck. And she like covered her face a lot too, so people was like, what is going on under that? I love Lady Gaga. But yeah. She's a witch. So I think she's a witch. Don't she I know she's, she's a human witch. Human remains. Mm. She hangs with uh, Marina Abramovich. That's the lady that wears all that black stuff on her face. The old one. The one that got the nice ass titties, and she's and she's 70, old as hell. She's yeah, seventy, eighty years old. They eat people. <laughs> Said them my witchcraft titties. <laughs> yeah, they eat people for sure. Witchcraft titties is some of the best titties. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's a what's an automatic what's an automatic turn off? Female wise, like on the body or in general, anything about a f- anything about a if female. Let's go. Right? Let's let's bad go. Teeth. Let's let's make a list. If she smells, let's make a list. I think if she smells. What do you mean? Everybody smells. Boy, you know exactly what I mean. If she stink, if it's three Any, degrees outside and she uh, stink, all right. You let's smell let's her. keep it. Let's keep it. <laughs> Let's try to keep it. Um, you said anything. Let's try to keep it female only because any guy, any person can smell. Let's try to. Right. Anyone can smell. If a girl smells, like, what are you doing, sis? Yeah, that's an automatic no. Yeah. Thank you. you know, you're never going to care about my life. <laughs> you don't. Right. You're coming. You come outside smelling bad. It's teeth. You don't even care about that. Why would you care about me? You would take a girl with bad. Like, this ain't, you know, ain't so or I'm adding to the list. Oh, I'm throwing okay. teeth on there, yeah. Teeth is a, teeth. teeth is a fucking big one for me. Yeah, that's my biggest one. Like, ugh. Because if I see you got bad teeth from across the room, I'm not gonna get close enough to smell you. Yeah, like, you got bad <laughs> teeth. You got bad breath and all that bad hygiene. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody said <laughs> uh, the laugh. Yeah, I don't. You could deal with a laugh. I think you could deal with a laugh. What if it's embarrassing, like loud, like you're at a restaurant, and she's like, <laughs> like crazy, like Chanel West Coast. We're definitely friends. <laughs> we're definitely in the friend zone. <laughs> but it's still, you we're, still would hit and stuff. We're a friend zone forever. Just don't make her laugh. Nah, like I'm friend zone. Got to make her laugh. With that annoying laugh. Yeah, you got to be funny. At least a little bit. What? The girl, even if has she's annoying and laughing, no, no, the she, man, she's that's annoying. That's that's the man, not the girl, the man. The guy has to be funny. Yeah. He definitely doesn't have to be funny. Yeah, right. Because I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to say yes, he does. 
He has to be funny. Hell yeah. A little bit. I'm not saying you got to be like. I mean, you got to be funny, I think, for me, because I'm funny. Busting funny, but be able to crack a joke, have a little bit of a sense of humor. Yeah, you got a sense of humor. I don't think a girl want to be able to do that never makes her laugh ever. Like, no, actually, you're right, because I do have some things that I'd be like, damn, they never really made me ha, 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 ha. Yeah. But they probably made you like. Kyle strikes Chuckle. Like, uh-huh. Chuckle? No, I'm thinking of a And would you be with him long term? I'm thinking about one, and he does not make me laugh. At I'm all? You've been on long term? Yeah, I'm funny. How long you been with him? I mean, nowadays I think a year is a long time. <laughs> oh, well, that's not long, long term. Time. Yeah. So yeah, he's not funny. Compared Could you spend the rest of your life with him? Hell no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not a requirement. You say no. it's a re- no. I'm talking about on the guys. End. So it's think, not no. Is it requiring a girl to be funny? Most girls <laughs> aren't funny. Most girls aren't. Yeah. <laughs> Bless Shit. you. Ooh. Max and Brian. Oh, sorry. BT Davis over here. Is it a requirement for a girl to be funny? I thought that's what we were no. talking about. No, I was saying the guy had to be funny. Because we were talking about annoying laughs because the girl was laughing. So I was talking like, about from y'all. Automatic turn off from a woman. I ain't talking about niggas. Fuck niggas. Nah, nah. The real reason we got onto that shit is because it was like, just don't make her laugh. And I was like, you got to make her laugh. You got to be a little bit funny. So we got off topic. But as far as like, We'll go on. Does the girl have to be funny? No. It's a turn off. The automatic turn off about a girl. It's a turn off if she don't Female. got a sense of humor. Like if she can't take a joke, oh, that's a turn off. Hell like, yeah. Uh, Everything yeah. hurts her feelings. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like you don't gotta be funny, but you gotta have a sense of humor. Um what's up? What else is a turn off? Not too much these days <laughs> <laughs> for men. I mean, I would say like a, I would say like a, <laughs> it was a turn off for guys. What's I was like, gonna say like a messy room or a dirty bathroom. That goes with hygiene. Like, yeah, hygiene. they stink. This this is probably not up to par anywhere else. So we could put teeth and smell and all that under hygiene. So yeah, hygiene, hygiene is always a that's always yeah, it's big for like me. Like your house dirty, you got a sink full of dishes and shit, everything. Yeah, that's always big for me. How hygiene. they handle rejection. That's a turn off for you. Yeah, I mean, not you already reject her though? How she handles it. You already don't want her. It's a turn off. She's already turned. You, you already, already turned, turned off? off. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. So basically, what you're saying <laughs> is you'd still hit somebody you're turned off by. Just if she handles it horribly, it's like, yeah, nah, I'm not even gonna second guess it. Or are you saying like if she handles it well, that turns you back on? Like, damn, she handled that shit. <laughs> That's what you said. There you go. Brian. Oh, Brian so gets me. The mind games. <laughs> That's a mind game? Yeah, because then you're like, wait, come back. If you like, wait, come back, I'm about to do this and do this, and be like, hmm. All right. Hmm. Because you guys are talking to that shit if I don't know. Okay. So then, the, yeah, my dick got hard after she said that. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I thought she was on some bullshit, but now you over here talking my language. Put some pressure. Everybody, a diamond's made under pressure. A diamond, guys. Factual information. I'd say too much entitlement is a turn off for me too. Like, like to anything. Like, it could be material things. I don't know about this one because all women are entitled. Uh, feel entitled to. Something. Yeah, I'm saying like too much though. Like as far as like maybe like that whole princess attitude is like it's I deserve everything. Right. It's too much. Like you guys call me a princess, so now I'm offended. Let's like, go into further. I detail. call you a princess. No, I call her a princess. I call you, you think like I act too entitled? A little. <laughs> <laughs> Honesty hour. <laughs> wow. We never got well, you told this. you told me what you expect your so, dudes. They gotta do this, this, this for you. They gotta buy he you said, that. So are you gotta, saying he said, little, he said you're a little too entitled? Wait, wait, wait. So are you saying I don't him. deserve these things or you just wouldn't entertain these See, that's things? That's the entitlement. <laughs> hmm? I wouldn't entertain those things. No. Okay. Okay. You so wouldn't. that's different. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, this is I a personal turn that. off. Some dudes that might be a turn on. Right. Mine to them it is. Right. I understand. Do you think I she deserves the things I asked for? She deserves whatever she feels she deserves. Nice, safe answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You deserve whatever you want in this world. 
Yeah. Basically, you can't tell somebody what they're, what they're worth. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell her that. If she thinks she deserves it, she deserves it. I do. <laughs> he wasn't going to convince me I didn't, even if he disagreed. If right. Exactly. Worth that's why I was like. Dollars, your pussy worth a million That dollars. question wasn't even worth answering. I'm like, that's not even worth answering. He understood you that. determine your uh, what you deserve. Um. Well, now I know how you really feel about me. Oh, she's, entitled. <laughs> she's entitled. She's an entitled. What do you think Princess met? <laughs> oh, I thought it was like sweet. <laughs> sweet? Every time I've called you Princess, it was literally when you were like asking for something. Yeah, I was like, all right, true. Princess. But you called me a princess as you were assisting me in doing it. Yeah, I mean, I'll help you out. Oh, okay. That's what it, yeah, you helping her be a princess. You catering to. He's her. enabling. <laughs> He's enabling your princess. <laughs> like that one time, she was looking for something. I just like, kept looking and I'm like, why? Me? I was like, he All stopped right, princess, and he helped me. Damn, I hope you. Uh, <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. You know, mini meltdowns. Mini meltdowns. <laughs> <laughs> Cassandra, tell everybody what your uh, sign is. I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius. What's the turn off for the dudes? Like, what turns you off about dudes? Um, <laughs> if they're stingy. <laughs> what is your definition of stingy? Saying no. That's stingy? Yeah, because why not? Okay. <laughs> Entitled. <laughs> I just, you know, that's how it goes for me. Right. All right, what's another one? Um, Bad hygiene. Mm. Um, finger, what about dirt? Dirt under a fingernail. Disgusting. Let's wait. Let's let wait. Say before dirty you shoes. go in, before you go in, let's go with the things that you that have to do with hygiene that you may be like. All right. Okay. Not ready? That That's why Nasty I wanted to teeth, start. Teeth, dirty fingernails, hair that you have so much hair that it's coming like out your shirt or something. Like I knew somebody that had hairy shoulders. It was horrible. Oh, hairy like, shoulders. I could not do it. Like odor. Okay. Odor. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Like, even if your clothes, like, snagging a little bit, like, nigga, you don't know how to wash your clothes. Like, you know, sometimes when the neck is, like, all, like, nigga, why would you come outside like that? What if he has lint, lint balls on his uh, hoodie? Like Brian does all the time. My sweatpants, <laughs> then he's going to call me. Yeah, what about lint, lint balls on his sweatpants? Lint, wait, hold up. I mean, if you're, like, running a quick errand, cool. But if you're, like, outside chilling, we're all, like, getting right. And this you're is like a quick that, errand, by the way. No. Yeah, we chilling. <laughs> we chilling. Like, if we're chilling in the crib, all right. But, like. Now we chilling outside no. my crib. I'm about to go meet you with my. No. Lit. <laughs> my <laughs> lit my lit it up. Definitely not. No, no, my no. My linted up sweatpants. Don't even come outside with wrinkly <laughs> clothes on. That's a turn off? Yes. Wrinkle with your shit's all wrinkled and shit. You don't care about yourself. What if he was a millionaire? And you know this. I've seen I seen a millionaire. He was the most dusty looking motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. Was like, that dude's a millionaire. I was like, what? I mean, okay, I understand, <laughs> but I'm just being more like realistic of where we are. No, I get you. I'm just well, I'm just asking if that changes things. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, does it? Does it change? Um Come you on, let, you guys you know, of course slide. that changes things. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't. That's I, why some we girls ask might not give a fuck. Some I mean, people if he's a millionaire, I'd be like, so what? Oh, well. <laughs> what, <laughs> about, like that. what about hair? Like, they hat hair. Like, they just woke up out of bed and just started. Well, I like niggas, so they don't really have hat hair. They have braids. So. I don't, I don't, I'm not really. I'm not, you know what's crazy? I'm not really into niggas with hair, yeah, but one of my like, main niggas got wait, hair. Ain't been braided in a week. You talking about, about, talk about hat hair is like. Trendy now, so you really don't know if a nigga just woke up out of bed or not. <laughs> no, hat hair has always been horrible. I don't know why they would Jay ever Cole do that. hair. Ew. I mean, Jay Z hair. I'm talking about. That's not hat I'm hair. Talking that's about, just unkempt. I'm, I'm talking about that. The uh, natural look. Yeah, that's just natural. Yeah, the natural. <laughs> I'm talking about the hair. I'm What's ever trendy? It. What's trendy for niggas? Dreads. Kodak look, black. I'm shit. not into Kodak niggas black. with hair. My shit ain't fucking all together. My shit's fucking right I'm now. not into niggas with hair. I do you, got one nigga with hair, though. I don't talking like about it. Caesars? You like niggas with Caesars? What's that? And like even cut. cut. And even short cut. Like BT Davis cut. Yeah, like my shit. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, just regular cut. I just, just I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Niggas you don't like with niggas with long hair? Y'all just... 
Give me Wait, sneaky don't do, vibes. Don't do y'all. Is that stingy I'm vibes? not. I'm not none of them. Sneak, no sneaky oh, vibes. Is stingy vibes. So oh, niggas with long niggas hair, hair just think sneaky? they so cute or something. Niggas like, with long hair is fuck? sneaky. Yeah. Okay. Like who the fuck's doing your hair? I'm not. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. So that much thought going. I don't need no it. nigga with hair. No. So are you the jealous type? Sit between that girl's legs over there. Am I jealous? Have you been in a jealous episode before? In a love triangle, have you ever been? Um, I want to say no because I feel like nigg- bitches, females, I mean, women. You Wait, let been, me give you my reason. You definitely been on one. Have you ever been episodes. jealous of your man's hairdresser? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know her. I don't want to do That's it. I'm the story not doing of my that. life. <laughs> um, I don't know. Life. Um. Okay, yeah, I have been, and you're right. But I don't really, I feel like, maybe I'm so <laughs> conceited that I feel like bitches fuck on my nigga just to tell me, like, to get up one up on me. I don't ever feel like it's about the nigga. So that's why I never really, like, yeah, be like, what the fuck? But it'd be Damn, like, is that how low you think of the niggas you fuck with? No, that's how high I think of myself. So you be like... <laughs> So you think so you think all these bitches are just plotting against you to bring yeah, your empire down? Yeah, because I'm fresh, I got money, niggas. I'm beautiful, I be chilling, I be worry free, living my best fucking life. The only way a bitch can get on you is if she got your nigga. That's all a bitch could do to me. That's it. A bitch can't do nothing else to me. And niggas is fucking. And niggas is whores. They fuck anything. So is that true? That these bitches is over here plotting the. the I personally the think it's true. Empire. And like, ah, we gotta stop this bitch. <laughs> this bitch is shining too I need much. I shit on her parade. This bitch hmm. is just shining way too Where's much. Where's her nigga? Where is her nigga? She is shining way too hard. Because I'm not going to fight her. I'm not going to say nothing. So That's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy kills. Pussy kills. <laughs> All right. So some other shit in the news. Mm-hmm. Texas and Mississippi are 100% open. Oh, because coronavirus don't exist no more. Whatever happened to people <laughs> it got freezing frozen out. in Texas? That's over? Corona got frozen out of Texas. What happened in Texas? <laughs> what happened to people freezing over there? It's over? Are you talking uh, about uh, people's pipes busting? And yeah, shit? yeah, that's done. I don't I know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they're still rebuilding, but it's not like... I think it's like 70 degrees down there now or some shit. Like, Seven zero? Yeah, so I think it might be a lot of floods going on, but I don't know. But um, they're probably repairing, and uh, but they got to open back up. They need the money. We didn't do enough research on Houston. Is it Houston? You said Texas, right? I just know it's Texas. Yeah, I don't know. Houston is where where the uh, pipes busted. Houston right? is more north. I know where people was lining up at uh, uh, Popeyes and shit, <laughs> Chick Fil A and shit. They was lining up blocks, to getting eat. them, getting them frozen chicken wings. <laughs> It's not funny, yeah, man. I, want some I didn't laugh. Now. You making mm. me laugh. It's your fault. <laughs> I'm a natural. Yeah, um, so how y'all feel about yeah the country finally opening up? I think Texas needs to because they need the money. They need the revenue. Um, I think every state needs the revenue. Yeah, Massachusetts. We're all gonna die. Back up. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Why? I'm so gloomy. We're not ready. We're not ready to reopen. Well, that's what they, um, ex- I guess that's what Texas exposed is like, yeah, like they exposed like a huge flaw in the infrastructure as far as like if some really, really bad shit happens, we could all lose power like that. But I guess so Texas, didn't the way Bill Gates said something about another ar- outbreak in March since we're all listening to a tech guy about a, science. I've seen a new strand. I've seen some shit about a new strand. Like, I don't know. We're all going to get the vaccine, guys. It's Who's we? Like, Everybody no? going to get it. Bro, they make they're gonna make it where you have to. to. Get it. It's, this is the, this is the setup. I've seen enough people with it. Think about it. You're not gonna die. be able to travel without it. All right. So that means your ass is about to be a loser. Stuck in, the in house. your hometown. You this can't. Is about to be travel. one of those movies with that Irish actor. What the Irish? The guy who's in Olympus has fallen in all those movies. Draw or both? He's Australian. Yeah. Australian. I said Australian. No, nah, you said oh, you Irish. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know too many Irish. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, you got no, he Colin sound Fair- a little Irish to you me. You got Colin Farrell. He's an Irish. That's all I thought was Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. This is like a Gerard Butler movie. <laughs> <laughs> Olympus has fallen. Yes. 
Come on. Book of Eli. That too. I am legend. legend. It's more yeah. close to I am legend. Ding, 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 ding. Really? 1984. Sort of. Would you want to be Will Smith in that movie? Not me. Nobody would want to be the last motherfucker on earth surrounded by vampires. You got to kill your dog? Hell no. That's fucked up. Your doggy? I'd never get over it. <laughs> you got your vampire wife locked in the basement. But yeah, if they say you can't come out the house without taking the vaccine, you're going to take that vaccine. You're not about to stay in the house all day. Oh, yeah, I think Will Smith said something about, uh, I've never been called a nigger by a smart person. What the? What? What does that mean? <laughs> That's um, I, I respect yeah. that. Elaborate. So, basically, he's saying he has been called it, but those he's saying people only dumb people call him. him. Yeah, he's saying only dumb people call him that. So, he's getting called nigger to his face. Have any only of y'all been called people. the N-word? Yeah. With the hard E-R? Yeah. By who? I did by a baby. This white boy on the bus. What? In school. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. This guy is totally I went to like a little nice, proper little white school for a little bit. Oh, really? A Catholic and school? And they called me nigger. Catholic. Oh, is that where the hate comes I'm from? I'm not allowed to say that. Yeah. You're going to bleep I it mean, out. <laughs> I'm going to bleep that out. Like, yeah. No. What? You went to a Catholic school? I don't know. No. It was just like. YouTube. Demonetized. Like a rich little white place area when I lived there. You don't know where you went to there. school. <laughs> I know where I went to school, but it was just predominantly white people. Mm-hmm. You know, like one of those towns where they fucking like own street names and parks and shit. Yeah. And I got called a nigger twice. Actually. Why? What did you do wrong? Nothing. I was a young child on the bus just sitting there running my business. And he butted my arm and called me the N-word. Oh, a dude? Yeah. And then a girl, then the second time a girl did it, and I punched her in the face and threw her in the river. In the same, <laughs> in the same, the same school? No, I was older the second time around. Oh. The oh, first time about? I was only in middle school, and he was a high schooler. And he just called you a nigger? Yeah. Oh. And then the second time, that I knew that girl, so, you know, I beat her up in front of the other white kids. So what they school know what happens this? if you call me nigger. What school was this? This was in Stafford Springs, Connecticut. Oh, oh, that's where the Springs. KKK live. For real? <laughs> so, like a couple of years ago, they were in the news because they were doing a, a cross burning um, at, in Stafford Springs, Connecticut. At the gazebo where I held my prom was there. Yeah. So you knew about it? No, I'm just I <laughs> I did actually. You're right. I did. All right, leave that. me out. All right. Yeah, All right. I'm sorry. Yeah, let him co-host. <laughs> yeah, let him co-host. Now that you said the story, I remember. <laughs> Let him cook. She's learning. Great. She's, you know, it's <laughs> trial and error. This is why we yeah. need a headphones and a microphone so he can. Yep. Yeah. All right. But yeah, no, nah, that's where the KKK. So I'm not surprised. You grew up in a racist town. That's where the KKK lives. You grew up in Stafford. Spring. I didn't grow up there. I just went to school there for a couple of years. Straight from Hartford. Like, what? Pull your mic out. Hiding your face. Oh, that's all right. They don't look at it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next. Um, we were talking about Texas, right? So, yeah, yeah Texas, Mississippi open. Um, y'all going to Texas? Mm. Vacation? Hotel? I want to. I wanted to. Week. I wanted to go there and eat. It's lit right now. Barbecue. Man. Get that Texas barbecue. Yeah, I want to go to Turkey Leg Hunt. Huh? Damn. What? Turkey Leg what? Never heard of it. Turkey, turkey Leg Buh. Hunt. Oh. Some, something like that. Like wrong leg, bro. <laughs> no, no it's like, like turkey legs, like fucking this big. Turkey leg, bro. And then the drinks are like fucking ginormous. I want to go. That shit reminds me of like I want to go to fucking uh, New Orleans bourbon. Street me too. Shit. I've been to Louisiana, but I didn't go to New Orleans. That's weird. Jazz festival. Yeah. So y'all planning on traveling this year? With the whole corona. And yeah, they fucking ruined some of my trips. Got I got to. like $500 worth of credit to fly places. That's fire. I just don't have friends to go places like that. They just want to like drink and like the hood and shit. What's wrong with the hood? Gotta go to every. I love the hood, but let's go out other places sometimes. Oh, you talking about the hood and out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking, oh, yeah, yeah, no, the hood here. The hood's the in other states, hood. you know? You wanna let's go out yonder. Visit hoods all over the world. All right, Jackson so how do, how, do, how do females find friends? It's so fake in the beginning. Oh, my God, girl. Hey. Compliments, you right? You don't like each other. or You, know, you just, you just, just keep liking each other's or... picture and stalking <laughs> each other. 
I've never actually made a friendship like that. I feel like whenever I see girls try to be friends, the first thing they do is compliment. I'm like, oh, you're so pretty. Or I like your lashes. Or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> I like your lashes. Yeah, who don't does say something those? like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God, girl. Who does your nails? Oh, my God. Cassandra Lee. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your pussy you is so too. pretty. <laughs> That female friendships don't last because they're it's materialistic. Beyond superficial. That's the thing. You don't know if she's trying to be your friend or eat your pussy. Like, you don't really know. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. 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 Does that happen? Sometimes, yes. 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 Oh. That's exactly Sometimes you're what not it is. really sure, and then it's like, oh. Because oh, all these oh. bitches is gay. But yeah. Factual. Chilling with a nigga is only, only reason you're going to chill with a nigga is because you got a similar outlook. A similar goal, <laughs> a but similar do niggas even make new friends? Like y'all usually <clears throat> friends with niggas y'all been friends with, right? Nah, you make new friend, you make new friends on fucking similar, <laughs> similar shit we into. But you have your core group of friends that you chill, chill. With. You got your friends that okay, like say we don't like, switch up friends like that. That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Girls will have like a new friend group like every year, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, because it's based on materialistic shit. I said they're pretty fake. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, I've always seen that, like, on social media. Women are like, yo, I don't have no friends. Because, like, you, like, you All right, you sound like you're looking for friends. Me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not oh. talking about you. Oh. <laughs> look, look at you. It's like, no. I'm talking about hypothetical, <laughs> random fucking person that doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> and I think girls go at it way too hard. Like, oh, my God, yeah, let's chill. Let's go out to eat. Now let's go do that. Like, damn. Now you already know you don't like to be I feel like girls days. fight easier, too, like. Getting fights easier, but more fickle. But sometimes bitches be your fake friend to just be nosy too. Oh yeah, I guess there's that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't trust bitches. That's what Cassandra's saying. Don't trust these hoes. Moral of the story. Moral of the story: Don't trust these hoes. Mm-hmm. Damn man, it's a hard world out here for a single bachelor. Oh, yeah. Bachelorette. Oh, it's hard for a bachelorette to find a real, <laughs> real dude that's a uh, wing girl. Got to yes, find your wing girl. Your real wing girl. A real wing girl. Oh, okay. I know some real ones. I'm sure. Just not taking any openings right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when I do see like genuine um, Friendships. Women friendships. They usually been friends like early, like kindergarten yeah, type yeah, shit. Yeah. Like it's they've been never, they grew up together. It's, it's never we mm-hmm. just yeah. <clears throat> You know what's crazy? You guys know how I feel about white people and my longest friendships are with white, white. girls. Yeah. I could see that. I like like we that. went to middle school together. So you went to a white friends. school, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, wasn't it uh the white girl that wanted you or something? No. No? Oh I'm bugging <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <Sorry. laughs> Yeah, it's true. Like, I kn- I'm still talk to a girl I knew since eighth grade. And I'm almost 30. And y'all still cool and, and my, all that? Mm-hmm. Then my other one, I, we met are from my freshman year of college. We both went to AIC. And we're still friends. She's a white girl. Shout out Bumblebees. Boy, oh boy, was that a playground. All right, next topic. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> so... Nike is in the news. Their VP resigned because her son was running a sneaker flipping business. That's not a conflict of interest or anything. She told him to do that. You think she helped him do it? I think he brought it to her attention and she was like, hmm. Hell no, I don't think so. That much money and she didn't notice? She's a white mother. So let me say the amount. So I guess he used her credit card to buy $132,000 worth of shoes so he could flip them. Yeah, Cassandra. She knew. Yeah, you don't think she noticed $123,000? 32. Until it was too late, yeah. White people are on their financials like, bong, bong. They hire people to manage that shit. Not when it comes to their kids. <laughs> that bitch, yeah. yeah look. Because no, you know, no, no, no. white kids no, do presentations wait, to their wait, parents. Wait. Mom, uh, look, wait. if you invest this much, we can uh, make a revenue of and a profit of. And she talking. probably was like, you know what, son? Let's do it slow. Come on, we're doing the comparisons between black people and white people. What is the, <laughs> the pros and the cons? We never, I, we never said that. I just we, said how we white do, people. We act. do how black people raise their kids is the pro towards the white people how they raise their kids is the con, meaning 
we raise our kids better than white people do. You just said all that by yourself. What? <laughs> that's not. Are I you didn't. saying that's not true? Um, no, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, um, I didn't go there. You did. That's all I'm clarifying. I mean, this is the Let's Go There podcast. I thought that's so. What let's go there. So about. you're saying black people raise their children better this than is white the, people? This is the narrative that's been perpetuated since. Is the that 1980s. the narrative? Is it because yes, white kids? Because black parents, people whoop their kids and, say, yeah. and white don't beat parents their kids. don't. Right. I think we think There's that. No I don't fear. think white people think that. Huh? I don't think white people think black parents do a better job at raising children. I'm talking about the narrative. Right, no. Oh, that's a narrative. I'm to not only. talking about what white people really I think y'all talking about two different things, too, honestly. I feel like Kyle's talking about behavior. But I think what Cassandra was getting about as far as, like, educating their kids on finances and stuff like that. No. Huh? Or did I jump out the window? Yeah, you no, did. yeah, you you're think, right. You talking I'm about? Right. All right. You talking <laughs> about the parents teaching their kids about finance? That's what you talking about? No. Okay. Uh, all it right. Just got real confusing. Exactly. <laughs> what I'm saying is, uh huh. Yes, it, there <laughs> is a thought that black people do better raising because of the whooping, but that's only within our own community. I you don't know, think that's a nationwide you, thought. You I don't think, think white, white people, people would agree that they. Don't whip their kids. That's one of their basism for racism. We raise drug dealers and gangbangers and guys who go to jail. I've never heard that being applied. You don't think white people think that about? I've never heard that. That's one of the biggest things of racism. What are you talking about? Is how black people raise their kids. Because they they grow up to become gangbangers, drug dealers. No, I'm just saying as That's white people I'm as a collective about. do not think they make better parents because they think the narrative that white or black children become these things. That's what I'm saying. No, they think that be based on the color of their skin. That's different. <laughs> we're talking about how you raise your kids. That's exactly what I'm saying. No, you were talking about the color of their skin. No, you're I'm talking not. about when, you're talking away. about how how Wait, black back people's up, back cho- up. you're talking about how black people's children are become criminals and everything. That's based on the color of their skin. That's not how they're raised. That is the census. When they when there's a black child, they automatically assume them to be because of how they're raised. Y'all are talking about white people believe how black people raise their kids is the reason why they become criminals. That's no, not, no, that's, that's where not you're what misunderstanding. That's what right. What are you that's saying? not that's what, what she the said. Problem. Right. What, are you saying? <laughs> what I'm saying is that Yes, there are people that believe black people raise their children better because they beat them. But that's between us. White people do not subscribe to that view as well. So you're saying everyone does. That's a general consensus. That's what you're you saying. S- and I'm saying it's not. That's only the general consensus between us. But if you want to go there, white people do not wouldn't agree saying black kids or black people raise their children better than, say, me, a white person. What I'm saying that's is... That's all I'm saying, point blank. What I'm saying is when when... When a parent beats their kids, it's not technically a black thing. It's just prominent in all black households. Like, my children talk back to me. I'm not taking that. Right? Mm-hmm. That that's But that's not just black. That's a fucking, like... But then a, we got to go a, back because that is, that is what you said, white, though. What do you you said, you said... Yes, they think that because we beat our children. You said that yourself. Say that again. You said that black people are better at raising their children. And I said, really? You said, yeah, because we beat them. You said that. You already started saying that. I'm saying that's how Now people, you're saying that's it's the narr- not. I'm saying that's the narrative. Okay, that's the narrative. All right. Because it's in movies. Yeah, that's the narrative. Precious. And I'm not talking about me and my opinion. Talking about I'm not thinking about my opinion either. All right, so I'm talking about narratives that go on, right? So when you say that black white people don't know this, you're not you're not getting away with that because that's in movies that white people have produced, right? All right. So no, talk- I'm still going with the general consensus that most white people would not agree with the statement you said. I think Cassandra's saying that white people are not looking at black parents as doing a better job at raising their kids All right, then just because the, they beat their kids. All right, have you ever heard... I of, think that's what she's saying. Have right? you ever heard this okay. stereotype in movies, right? A cliche stereotype called, like, the magical Negro. 
But yeah. that just because they make a movie about it, that's no, what I'm they talking see. About a that's not generally. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a movie. I'm talking about a stereotype. You know the stereotype of the magical Negro. Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Right. In movies, is the magical Negro where it's a female or a male, right? And then you got the female. Let's concentrate on the female, right? You got movies like Help. You got movies like <laughs> these shits, right? Where it's like, yo, this is how you raise your kids, right? It goes back to slavery and black women fucking raising the white children. This is how you do it, right? So you're not going to tell me that white people don't believe that. I just don't think a white person would sit here and say, yes, black people raise their parents better. Okay, that's me. the difference between white people and black people. White people, white people ain't going to throw us under the bus. I mean, they own under the bus, but we about to be like, yes, we about to throw fucking Brian under the bus. And that was just the general right. point of my point. <laughs> that was it right there. Like, that was it. <laughs> that was it. We're cutting that all out. Why? Are we? <laughs> I thought, I thought we, we just made went a point. in like eighteen circles. I thought you was going into like, all right, so it's the environment which you grew, which you grew up in, which is like, all right, he's in a fucking group home, so that's why he's fucked up. Or his parent raised him right. I thought you was on that shit. No, we're going. She, her argument is talking about what white people think. No, it's not. Just not. You're talking about how white people think about how black people raise their kids. If it's the better way or not. I think she's saying, like, white people wouldn't agree that beating your kids makes you a better parent. I think that's what she was trying to say. Yeah. Like, I don't think she was thinking that deep into it as you're going. Yeah, that's, like, that was the point. It was a pretty blanket statement that we, like, dissected. You don't think white times. people would agree that that makes agree. black parents are better because they beat. And the only reason I said black parent because they beat is because you brought that in the conversation. That's why I added that in there. Yeah, because you never really actually finished your point. Because we went off like on a whole tangent right there. Yeah. I didn't finish my point. I don't think so. Did you? I think you did now. <laughs> 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 when you went, when you brought back, to, when you brought it back to the um, slavery days with the, they would call them, I believe they called them mammies, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that was a good point. I was like, oh yeah. What? I made a good. <laughs> did, I, did I make a good point or no? No, you did when you when you when you wrapped it up. When you brought it back to the slavery days and you got the black woman taking care of the white. Nah, kids. they said I didn't make no no. But point. that could just be my predisposed knowledge of what you're talking about. So maybe you didn't do a good job explaining it. So all of y'all are confused by what the fuck I just said. I just said No no no, we completely understand. I mean, We're I just all on shit. different places. I just said a bunch of shit for no reason. <laughs> yeah. I get I get the No, core I understand of what, you were to say. what you were saying. I was just trying to like you know, let you know, like, I get it. But, but I just didn't say point, that. <laughs> I think Cassandra's point is like, all right. I think Cassandra's point is looking at like, all right, if we look at the like outcome everything. of modern society, we look at like white kids versus minority kids. We look at mm-hmm. the outcome. The numbers and statistics might lean more towards white parents um, doing a better job. I think that's what she was saying. Just as far as the way they raise your kids. I'm talking about with the financial. I was just right. saying that white people that would stuff. never give that to black people. That's all I was really saying. Oh, okay. That's what I was saying. So that's a whole different argument. That says it's a whole different argument. She's going No, by. that's not an argument. Because no, you said that everyone thinks this. And I just said, well, probably not white all right. people. Basically. Everybody knows this. And you're just going by what white people are going to let out in the public. No, I'm just saying what they think generally. Like, I don't think, I don't think a person oh, look, would. Wait, wait, he's over here. <laughs> I don't he's think she's arguing helping. against your point. I think yeah, she was no, just... Uh, no, that's why I just said what I said. Adding on her own little tidbit. I don't think she was arguing against your point. Yeah, though. no. That's why I said what like, I said. Nobody really got what you said. Nobody gets what I... Yo. I mean, I got it, what but... I said until fucking 10 days later. <laughs> and they were like, oh! And a text oh, message okay. like, yo, I get it now. Oh, okay. So that's what you were saying, right? Yeah. Yeah, all I was, was, all I was saying is... Everybody knows about how black people tend to raise their children. And they know that is how you're supposed to raise your children with uh, all touches. You fucking are a part of everything they do. White people tend to not be a part of everything their children do, hence why they 
seem to drift off and want and to explore and are curious about other cultures and they get in trouble. That's all I was saying. Because you're not going to tell me they don't know that because of history with slavery and all those black mothers neglecting their children to raise white children and how they raised those children because they whooped those white butts. They, they, they whooped those white children. You think so? Yes. Yeah, definitely. You think they let the yes. slave whip their children? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That would be a fucking uh, conflict of interest. You to be like, why are you whooping my child? This is why those women got a certain respect over men. In those times, black men, black women had more respect than black men in, during the slavery times. The house, the house slaves. If you write, you put me on after this conversation. <laughs> he said, if you write. You if I'm right. <laughs> if you're right. All right, man, I'm freestyling, man. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, they definitely use black slaves to raise their children. That's like that's. Well, I know fact. that part. You I'm just that. saying, like, I can't picture a mammy spanking a little white child in front of the white man. Oh, they did it. And they just. No, they did it. All right, do you Cause not I know white beat women? A what? <laughs> All right, Cause, Cassandra, you know white women, right? You okay. know white women, right? Mm-hmm. Oh no, Brian knows white women. My <laughs> Brian, you know white women, right? I didn't even do it Residential snow bunny whisper over here. Yeah, if I go, Where you getting that. Residential much <laughs> shark in the room. I'm not the mu- yo. Can we get the much term shark right? seeker? If she has, if she has a babysitter <laughs> that's going, if you, if sh- they have a babysitter that's going to do whatever they want, bro, they're not going to be raising that kid. Yeah. I was going to say what I was going to say is like, all right, so the black woman would even breastfeed. They don't their want children. to raise their kids. Yeah, we see that. The huh. black woman would breastfeed their children, like. So they y'all not them. about to fucking make me seem crazy. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm, I'm trying talking to help about. You out. I'm it's trying to help you out. You literally <laughs> talking about some breast, yo, from a black titty. They're letting their fucking white child suck milk from a black titty. But right. Did you know that black women right. breast milk is more money on the out. internet than white women? Huh? You know, you can buy like moms who are still producing milk. They sell it on the internet. And yeah. um, black women's milk goes for more, the most money. Yeah, but you know what the least profitable porn is? What? Black porn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, you want to throw t- t- you want to throw statistics out there? No, I'm <laughs> just meaning t- like that must you know mean something. They got some real good <laughs> nutrients in there, so that's why they was feeding the white kids. They got some real good fucking in there, but nobody gives a fuck about that shit. I mean, I seen a real crazy commercial black. one time from the '80s, and they were like advertising how dope their sunscreen was because it has melanin in it, and it was like a bunch of black people from Africa like just dancing in the sun using the sunscreen. It was like this old commercial from the '80s. I was like. And I think they filmed it like, or not filmed, they aired it, I think someplace in like Ireland or Iceland, someplace like that. I was like, yo. Did they have Shaggy do the music? It's crazy. Nah. That is fire. I don't don't think Shaggy was doing it. I think it was some reggae, though. I think it was some reggae, though. (laughs) But, yeah. All right, next topic. Let's go. So let's get some of these shits that's in the news. Um, so we got the New York mayor in the news. I seen Andrew. I'm gonna fuck his name up. Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo. Cuomo. <laughs> Accusations, sexual assault. Let's say the word it really is: rape. Rape. Former. Second time. Well, not rape. Second time. He is a habitual offender. Before he was sending pics to chicks, right? Allegedly. That's what the news before, right? He was sending pics to girls. Is this karma? Isn't this an episode of SVU? I don't know. No, oh, I swear it really is. It's like they've covered everything under and the, the sun. lawyers like his friends. So he's like a conflict of interest. <laughs> like if he wants to no, his, they based his, his shit on brother, real cases. His brother is a journalist on what uh, CNN. <laughs> For real? <laughs> yes, his brother Andrew Cuomo. Cuomo was right. I forgot his brother's name. It's something Cuomo. He's he's a he's an analyst. Probably or, Andy. <laughs> That's how, why would his or Aaron, Andrew and Andy. yeah, maybe Aaron. <laughs> you think it's both of their names? Maybe Alex. Andy and Andrew. 
Andy and Andrew. <laughs> Maybe Eric. But yeah. Eric I've always seen that as a conflict of interest, but now to see him uh basically getting the same scrutiny that Donald Trump got and he was the like one of the main talk downers on Donald Trump. Now the same thing's going on him. He's getting sexual <laughs> sexual assault allegations. So do all old white men rape? What? <laughs> it's a shifting of the of the of the forces. The Democrats have the party or have the House now, so now they're going wait, is he Democrat or Republican? I he's, like a he, Democrat. he's Democrat, right? Well Trump's out of the House now, so I, you said he was back in Trump, right? Or some shit. Mm. He was doing the opposite. He's a Democrat. He's not back in Trump. <laughs> not not po- politically, but you said something about um, Trump's he, sexual behavior. He was going, going at Trump or this, something. Right. He was going on. He was talking shit about Donald Trump basically being a bad president. Uh, so he's throwing rocks and hiding hands. And how he handled the coronavirus situation in that Pop he was a black. he was the hero when it comes to the corona situation. Much like uh, Rudy Giuliani during 9-11 in New York. So that was the that was the narrative that was going. He was about to write a book and everything. And then this happens. <laughs> Who did he piss off? Way to go, Cuomo. Uh, <laughs> 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 Fucked up our book deal, Cuomo. Publishing Word. deal over. <laughs> Who's supposed to get this money, Cuomo? You over here fucking up. Humble the bag. Man. He definitely did. Do we know what the accusations were? Rape. A sexual assault. It was straight rape? <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. Oh. They say sexual assault. That's all they Allegedly. Say. Allegedly. Yes. Allegedly. 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 Yeah, accusations. Allegedly. It's all alleged. He did it, y'all. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. That's that woman intuition right there. You believe in due process. <laughs> then we also got um, Randy Orton going back and forth with Soldier Boy because Soldier Boy said wrestling is fake. Ain't it? No. What? To an extent, mm-hmm. there's the <laughs> the athleticism is real, but the stories are fake. But the athlete- so like they're really getting hit with chairs, real life. Yeah, that's not acting. No, yes. That's real. That's real. Yeah, I'm getting hit what? with chairs. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's like reality TV. Is did Little Fizz really fuck Omarion's baby mom? It's almost like ballet. Yeah, almost. All right, like, is that real or fake? Reality TV. Loving hip is living hip hop real? So then wrestling's not real. Is loving hip hop real? No. All right. Did Lil Fizz fuck Omarion's baby mom according to the show? Yes. All right then. So then that's your answer to is wrestling real? I don't know when the yes. Which one's the answer? (laughs) You said yes to both, right? No. (laughs) You said is loving hip hop real? I said no. Right. That's what I mean. Is is love and hip hop fake? Yes. Yes. Did Little Fizz fuck Omarion's? Yes. Right. That's a real thing. So is wrestling fake? Yes. Are they really bleed? <laughs> Are they really bleeding? I think. Are I don't really know. Ble- yes. So that could be. Did he really break? Sh- did he really break his arm? Yes. So here's the confusion. The athleticism is real, but. People, the stories the, aren't the real. The theatrics are fake, but the athleticism is real. Okay, I think so that's you're saying like, have a soft okay, spot. yeah, so I that's really get my I, body right, but when I whack you with this chair, it's a little exaggerated. I know, no, huh? that's part of the story. I know, I know. No, because you got to understand people fuck up. They're supposed to hit you with the chair a certain way, and they fuck up and really hit you with the chair, and you really got a concussion. It's like so ballet. Is that fake or is that real? It's like ballet. So you guys are trying to tell me is. wrestling is real. Wrestling, yes, this is why right. the wrestlers really will real fight fake? you. If you tell, this is it's why they fake. get, yeah, it's this like, is why they get offended if you fucking say that it's fake. This is why I will really. So fuck they you voluntarily up get hit fake. with chairs and it's not into real. Tables. Like the UFC is I'm real. Getting paid a certain amount of money for this to act like it really hurts, just like reality. No, it really TV. hurts. It really hurts because they're really getting hit. No, right. It really hurts. So they just train them how to make the least amount of hurtful they, impact. Yeah, they teach them how to get hit. They teach there them how go. to fall. There's like a real athleticism go. behind it. But that doesn't that's always, it's not 100%. So when you so see the them So the cage bleeding, fights when all of them fall at the same time, that's real? When you see them bleeding is real. Whenever you see them bleeding, that's how, that's how I took it. Whenever you see a wrestler bleeding, that's real blood. It's I not. I wish fake I had this blood. conversation when I actually thought it really it's was. It's never. Real. It's never real. It's never f- fake blood. 
They're not doing that much. <laughs> okay. People have died in the ring, so that's just why they. This is why they take it offense when you be like, "Wrestling ain't real." Like motherfucker, my fucking homeboy died from this shit. Fuck. Same thing with rap. But like, man, this rap shit ain't real. These rap shit ain't real. This shit's fake. These niggas be over here doing fake beefs and niggas, but niggas be really dying and shit. Like, I'm so is it real or is it fake? That's why bloods get mad. Yeah, just like reality TV, just like the music industry, just like wrestling. Yeah, the story is fake. It's, it's not. You can't say it's fake. This is why they take offense. You be like, it's fake. All right, you don't. You don't get it. It's fake taken out of context. You you, you are a fan. You are an outsider. So let me check you right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's fake. It's oh, fake. Right. Let me show you. It's fake. Taken let me out show of you context. what I do for a living. Because people get confused by the way they're <laughs> by the way they're selling it as far as like they're selling it as like the stories I'm are real about, and they're really beefing. Talking about even a wrestler or a rapper, like oh you think this is fake? Oh you ran into the wrong one. That this is not fake. I ran into some fake niggas that did some fake ass beef shit with me, but I'm not the fake one. Test me if you want. So you're on the side. Wrestling is real. Yes. All right. I've always been. So fuck Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy is. Oh uh, fucking! He was uh, on the real block of the fucking what? What block was he on? Some blood block. Blood oh, block. Man. He was really there. And what happened? He got checked. He got G checked, and then the camera went off. Was that fake or was that real? That's my point. And he is the fucking embodiment of that. And he's talking about wrestling and why this. You know what I'm saying? So it's even funnier. It's even ironic. But yeah, some people confuse it because taken out of context, it's fake as far as like the way they sell it. But the athleticism is real. Like it's it's real training that goes into it. It's if real. I'm at risk to break my my it's real, real neck. Yeah, it's real <laughs> risk. If I'm at the risk to break my real neck, to me, it's real. And I think that's what Randy Orton was trying to tell Soldier Boy. And then you got not to add in more, right? It'd be motherfuckers have storylines and wrestling, and but really be like, I don't like this motherfucker. You know why I don't like this motherfucker? Because he don't do his moves right, and I can break my neck fucking with this motherfucker. He, he has a history. A fucking joke. And he has a history of breaking motherfuckers' necks, and I fucking set up the fucking beef with this motherfucker. Oh, I, don't, I really don't like this motherfucker. That's, that happens also. We're real, 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 real. <laughs> Be like some fake-ass shit, but everything's real. I really don't like this motherfucker. Right. So that's what I mean. We live in a fake ass, real ass world. You're real fake out here. So that's how I look like at it. Like politics. That's how I. There you go. Politics, right? You got fucking Hillary Clinton beefing with fucking Trump. And these Rick Flair is Donald friends. Trump. <laughs> All right. Next subject. So. Um, <laughs> next subject. Oh, so. Dr. Seuss um, canceled after death for some racist images, cartoons, supposedly. What do y'all think? Did y'all see them? Yes. They were definitely. <laughs> I miss. I miss some. I think it was the way I said yes. Uh, yeah. They definitely were racist as far as like those old school racist cartoons with like the the big red lips and all that stuff. They were talking about in the zoo, and it looked like that. Um, the damn, animals that in the zoo were supposed to be black folk. Brooklyn Zoo, probably. And they said the cat in the hat is based off of somebody from a minstrel show in blackface, I believe. Yes, I think it was like a black woman who like tended the elevators or something. Are y'all canceling Dr. Seuss? I mean, he doesn't really impact my life in any way, so I wasn't really. Yeah, on. He does. They gotta take Dr. apart Seuss. that whole museum. To <laughs> <laughs> you live in Springfield, it's Dr. Seuss. I'm not gonna watch The Grinch anymore. No. I mean, <laughs> damn, that's my little brother's favorite movie. Yeah, yeah look at you. It doesn't, it doesn't impact my life. At all. I don't watch it with him. Huh. I put it on and go about my business. So that doesn't right. you just you just showed it how it impacted your life just now. So stop. Stop. That doesn't impact my life. I put on a movie for a kid and I walk away. A kid that you care about. Stop. Stop. Stop it. It's not a big impact. Yes, it is. No. All right. So that little kid don't have no big impact on your life at all. How about that? Because he likes the Grinch. I said that little kid. Him as a whole doesn't fucking do no type of impact at all on your life just because you said that. Yes. Yeah. Could you leave him to watch that? 
<laughs> I got deep quick. Yeah. All right. Moving on. I'm not. No. Cassandra hates me this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook launches bars, a TikTok like app aimed at aspiring rappers. I'm about to start rapping. A lot of songs have popped off of TikTok. This is disrespectful. I think that's their angle. A lot of songs have been popping off of TikTok. Bars, though? What was that shit? Bored in the house? Bars, though? Come on, bro. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored? I didn't come up with the name. Bored in the house and I'm in the house bored? That was a TikTok song. That was song. it for real, yeah. <laughs> bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. I thought it was Tiger rapping that shit. Someone told me that's from TikTok. I said, I what? I thought that was Tiger. That's not Tiger? I think the radio version was Tyga. Isn't Tyga for like young white girls now? I don't know. How the fuck you make an app called Bars and there ain't no black people involved in it? Is there black people involved in it? It better be black people involved I would involved assume in it. so. Because but I it's didn't, called Bars. I, I would assume so. What are Bars? No, I don't think a black person would call it Bars. <laughs> We're talking about the app. We're talking about the app that Facebook made. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the app that Facebook Facebook made called Bars. It better be some it, it better be some black people involved with bars. We'll have to wait and made see. Made by Facebook for inspiring rappers. All right, so Mark Zuckerberg came up with this idea. <laughs> I'm gonna make I'm make an app called Bars. The bastard who blocks me. He needs to, yeah, he watches battle rap. He must watch battle rap because he made an app called Bars. Somebody watches battle. Somebody's in the culture that made the app. Or watches rap, the real rap. Has bars. Yeah. Real rap, not fucking Juice World and shit because Bars. It's Bars. It's all capital too, so it might stand for something. You're but, not listening to yeah. little Uzi Vert for the Bars. <laughs> My limit squeeze. <laughs> Unless he's rapping with G Herbal, then you're listening to him for the Bars. Not listening to... <laughs> <laughs> Little peep for the bars. <laughs> Say bars okay. again. Right. So that's all I'm saying. You right. to him you're, the depression. you're not. You're not slick, man. Bars is a black term. That's definitely a black term, mm. without a doubt. Oh yeah. See, Most culture is black. See how you was on my side and they wasn't, and now they on my side and you not. Yeah, I see. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm always I'm always on the right side of history. <laughs> Just so y'all know. Word. So, do you think they would mistake two chains for future? Who's they? <gasps> Facebook and whoever created the bars app. Yeah. Seeing as how they are in or out the culture, because ESPN did. ESPN mistook two chains for future. Just and ESPN tried to start their little rap shit too. They had Lil Wayne on there. Y'all should know better. They ESPN. brown, Come they on. brown skin, tall, and dreads. got dreads, and wear glasses all the time. Right, so that's terrible. They wear the same glass to Gucci, Gucci glasses. But yeah, I'm not that offended, not that concerned because it happens. No, because just a tidbit. I confused these two white actors the other day, so I'm in the fault. Yeah, because I, I don't want to say their names because I forgot the fucking <laughs> But Point. it was the guy, it was the, it was the, uh, the, the co-star to uh, Breaking Bad, I believe, like, fucking Paul something, I forgot his name, but there's a whole, there's a bunch of actors that look alike, you know, it's a bunch of white women that look alike in Hollywood. Tyrese's estranged wife explains <laughs> why women should not date famous men. This one is specifically for Cassandra. What you got oh, on that? <laughs> I think that's a given, but people do it anyway. You think it's a given? I don't think she needed to come out and say that. I think would you date obvious. a famous man? Would you do it? I would, but I know it's a bad idea. Mm. That's, the whole, that's what I think. Like We all know you shouldn't do it. Cameras in your face all the time. You oh, on TMZ thinking, and shit. No, nah, I was thinking about all the fucking other bitches and shit. Jealousy? All the other women. Yeah. She get a mansion though. So that's the bad <laughs> idea is the dealing with other women on your niggas dick. All up in his DMs. In his face. Google yard. My nigga gonna fuck. <laughs> Damn. What about if you find a nigga that's not gonna fuck? That where do they exist at? 
They exist, man. Where? In the world. I think Denzel Washington never cheated on his wife, right? That you know of. I'm trying to give him right. the benefit of the doubt. Tell him, <laughs> Carlos. Know, right? That you know of. Oh, he's a rare gem. How old is he now? I don't think I mean the 60s. 50s. Maybe. I said 60s. I was 50. I late. mean, he's got to be in 60s. I'll, I'll say he's in his late 50s. I mean, late 50s? Yeah, I was going to say 60s. I feel like 60s. Hell no. I feel like Jay Z is in his early 50s, so he would be in his late. Are they 50s. the same age? No, he would be older. Jay Z's in his 50s? His early 50s. Yeah. Early 50s? He is? He's not that far from Dr. Dre He's and 60. LL Cool J. Denzel's 60. I knew he was in his 66. Yeah, Whoa. I knew that. I'm like, Denzel He's in is 66. That's yes. wild. I knew Still that. Still look good. I'm like, that's why he got a whole 60. son over here taking all his roles. <laughs> Pass the baton, man. I don't like his son. I mean, you don't. He's cool, but he's not no Denzel. He's not Denzel. No, he's so never gonna all, be Denzel. Yeah, so that's the whole thing. It's like he's he's actually a good actor. He just he's in his own lane, which is what you should do. Yeah, but don't yeah, be taking a lot of pressure to be Denzel. Right. Son. I feel to like he's Denzel. taking. I feel like he's but he's gonna be offered the roles that Denzel would have been offered at his age and be like Denzel that's not for like him, here, son, though. take this one. But I feel like he's not that's gonna a, take it though. Cause huh? I feel like he's aware. I feel better about Ice Cube's son than Denzel's son. I don't like Ice Cube in movies. <laughs> I watched I, a couple of O'Shea's uh, movies. He got some. He got some high movies. Junior, O'Shea Jackson. Junior, Junior. Yeah, I watched a couple of his movies. What, what movies? Yeah, <laughs> he ain't got no movies, nigga. Thieves, the Den of Thieves. Nigga, that's a co-star. Yeah, that's one movie. And then what else? He had some movie on Hulu too with Aubrey. Um, what's that girl? Aubrey from um, Parks and Recreation. I'm trash. No, nah, that movie was kind of crazy. It was kind of dope. That movie was crazy. Um, some little indie movies and shit like that. But, you know, you're just starting out. Yeah. Kyle stands corrected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me do it. All right. Oh, oh my God. 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 Over here. Okay. Oh, right. shit. Shit funny out here? All right. So, what's that other actor? Winston. Winston Salm is playing Marcus Winston Garvey. Duke. Winston Duke is playing Marcus Who's Garvey. Who's Marcus Garvey, Kyle? Winston Duke. We need to go with Winston Duke. Who's Winston Duke? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know you know fucked up, right? You know you know. You know you know fucked up, right? <laughs> no, that's not. I believe that's Billy Duke. I right? know, I know, I know. Right. So, um, he, uh, he was in Black Panther. When, remember when Black Panther was... Um, what was it? Like Black Panther was out of commission or some shit and they had to go to the other tribe. Oh, he was the big dude, the leader dude, the ones that got kicked he out. He was the leader. He tried to be Black Panther first, he right? He was in Us, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, the yeah. main character in Us. Remember yeah. Us? Yes. Right, that dude. He's supposed to play Marcus Garvey. They had their kingdom in the snowy mountain, that dude. Right. Yeah, okay. So Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey is before Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. This is the, the generation before that generation of uh activism activi- black activism in America. This is like this is actually the beginning of black activism because before that there were Pan African as far as I know, you got Nat Turner and then you got Marcus Garvey, uh Noble Drew Ali and uh, Elijah Muhammad. And Marcus started the Back to Africa movement, right? I think yeah, that's pan, what's his big legacy. Pan-Africanism. Yeah. So anything that has to do with pan-Africanism, it starts from Marcus Mosiah Garvey, right? So his middle name is Mosiah. So that's Messiah and Moses, right? So he's the black Moses, you would say, because he wants everybody to go, go back. Nice name, Africa. Yeah. Africa. So he owned yachts. He owned ships. Back then, this is the Jack Johnson era. This is the, was it too many? You know what I mean? So he was a, a big figure. So what I know about this movie is that they're basically going to do the same thing as uh, Judas and the Black Messiah with Fred Hampton. They're going to focus the story on the guy that sold <laughs> Marcus Garvey out. Terrible. <laughs> How do you guys feel about that? Why not focus on Marcus Garvey? Does Marcus he have his own, his own movie, movie yet? No, there, there's the only movie on Marcus Garvey is actually a black and white minstrel show movie, and I think he's played by a white guy. What? 
and it's called the Black Messiah. <laughs> I believe, I believe, black, yeah, the Black Messiah or Black Jesus or something like that. And it's from the like the nineteen twenties. So it's like nineteen twenties or thirties after he died. It came out after he died, after he was killed, of course. So damn. Did I just give y'all a history lesson? Y'all don't know who Marcus Garvey is? I know who Garvey is. Yeah, because y'all know Martin Luther King. Y'all know Malcolm X. Y'all know the Black Panthers. Fred H- y'all didn't know there was a, a whole generation before I knew that? Garvey from Nas. Of course. <laughs> Nas taught me about Marcus Garvey. Oh, yeah? Garveyism? Yeah. You know, he's from Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Like Biggie Smalls was. They're focusing on the traitor, though. They're focusing on the traitor. That's the only way these movies are going to be, be made. made. And right. we highlight. All right, everybody. So that's been this episode of Let's Go There podcast. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be <laughs> back next week. Holla at us. I'm BT. I'm Throw Baby. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Prof. You can follow me on uh, Prof underscore explains underscore everything on Instagram. Um. You know, you can look me up, prof.parks, on Google, all my music, on YouTube, everything. Uh, Isu, my uh, clothes, all that, LSD culture, everything. Look that up. Cassandra Lee, Icy Nails, Sarai Naturals, Cassandra C, under, Cassandra C underscore Instagram. Your turn. BT Davis at Instagram. Um, you know, just check me out. I might post some jokes and shit at some point. That's the episode, guys. (laughs) See you next week.